Another summertime staple in central Ohio is canceling in person celebrations because of the pandemic. Good evening to you, everybody. And thanks for joining us tonight. Six. I'm Kerry Charles. Yeah, here it goes. I'm Colleen Marshall. Stonewall Columbus just announcing the annual Pride Parade is going to be virtual, a virtual format this year. A lot of disappointment for a lot of folks. NBC Force Alan Henry live in the short north tonight. Alan, have you found out about this decision? Well, Carrie Collin, with the vaccine rolling out and the state curfew being lifted just yesterday, this was an announcement many were hoping wouldn't be made from Stonewall Columbus. But the executive director here tells me that despite the progress made against the pandemic, there's just no way of knowing what that situation will look like in June. That's why the decision was made to move the parade from a traditional format into a virtual one for this year. Now, keep in mind, this is no small event they have to plan. The event has grown over the years from a couple hundred people gathering at Ohio State's campus to an event that brings in more than half a million people. And even though they won't be able to have that giant gathering to mark their 40th anniversary, Stonewall Columbus says they know the spirit of pride is in Columbus, not just on that day, but every day. Um, is that so many other events across Columbus have been canceled um, and because they are dependent on sort of that physical gathering. Um, but I think what we understand once again is that pride is not something that you can cancel. Um, you don't need to come together in a group. Um, it is nice to gather. It is nice to be together in, in, in community um, to celebrate that. Um, but again, you know, we want to be able to, to, to do that safely. Now, he tells me there will still be some in person gatherings to celebrate Pride in June, but instead of just the one big parade on that one day, they expect to have many events spread out throughout the entire month, and that will also help to reduce those crowd sizes. Local for you in the short North, Allen Henry, NBC4.